Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's really good to see you again. Thank you all for joining me again. Today we are going to do another special effects makeup. We are going to do Pennywise from IT. The remake version. Not Tim Curry's version. Tim Curry, your version is amazing. I love it. But let's face it. Bill Skarsgård is scary. So, it's Halloween time. What do we want? Scary. So, we're going to do the remake version of Pennywise. Now, before you start, make sure you get everything that you need. So, you're going to want white cream makeup. I use the white body paint because I get more of it and it's thicker. And you're going to want a thick sponge brushes, makeup sponges, the stinky liquid liquid latex, depending how gory you want to make it, fake blood. You're going to want to get yellow colored contacts, which I got from Spooky Eyes. For the red markings and stuff, I'm going to be using the bruise palette that I got at Walmart. You can get it at Walmart for about 12 bucks around Halloween time. Get brushes, anything else you might need, and of course, your costume. The most important part of it, right? Actually, no, that's not the most important part. The most important part, unless you're willing to grow your hair out and dye it and uh, make it a mess, get your wig. Which I know this one's a little bit messy, I'm gonna clean it up. Um, a little bit later with white paint and then paint over it. But anyhow, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put on the wig. Because everything has to kind of go over top of it. Because you're going to want to mold it down to your skin. Especially with this one. This one's got a little bit of a thicker bald cap on it. Which isn't necessarily a problem. It's just doesn't blend as well to the skin. I got it for 20 bucks on Amazon. It's held up pretty well. I had it since last Halloween, so... It's fallen over a couple times. It's got a little bit bent out of whack. But it still has the same effect. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take everybody's favorite liquid latex Actually, before you do the liquid latex, you want to save your eyebrows. Unless you want to rip your eyebrows off completely for this design, I don't suggest it. Or unless you want to shave them off, I don't suggest doing that either. Get yourself... Elmer's glue stick. I know what you're thinking, isn't that just going to rip my eyebrows out too? No, actually. This is a washable glue stick, which means that if you get it in your hair, your eyebrows, you just wash it out with soap and water or shampoo. Same as any kind of hair dye or anything like that. And what this does is it's going to um, give you a little bit of an extra protection against liquid latex. You want to go both directions on the front side of the eyebrows and the back side. I see what a lot, a lot of other people do for this is they like to take a um, knife or a palette or something. What is that sound? Anyhow, you're gonna. What some people do is they take a palette or a knife and they actually scrape off the top of the glue and they'll um, basically butter it onto their eyebrows. Once you get those fully covered with as thick of glue as you can, then you'll be able to start with the liquid latex molding down to the forehead. I'm actually going to pull that up a little bit. 
You got a big head. You can go up further. I should also mention that whenever you're not using liquid latex, put the lid on it. I just recently ruined a perfectly good rug by uh, bumping it with my elbow and it spilled all over it, completely drenched the entire rug in liquid latex, which does not come out, it doesn't smell good, and if you try to rub it out with carpet cleaner or anything else, it's just gonna pill. So, yeah, try to not spill anything. If you spill anything, you're not allowed to do makeup anymore. If you spill liquid latex, you're out of the business. I like to use Q-tips to apply it, because they soak it up fairly well. If there's something else that you feel like would work better, go ahead and give it a shot. If something does work better, go ahead and tell me, because I'm always willing to learn. Even I'm learning all the time. What I'm doing is I'm taking a Q-tip and just going across the seam between my face and the um, bald cap. It'll probably take several layers to completely fill. I feel like that's merged pretty well. When you put the white makeup over it, it should make it better if you do it thick enough. If you're not doing it thick, what's the point? So next what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your white body paint cream makeup, whatever you wanna call it. It's a white cream makeup. You're simply gonna apply it with the makeup sponge. Make sure you get a good glob of it on there. Because you're going to cover your entire face and the bald cap. Especially since I made a big mess on it and I can't get it off, so I'm just covering it up. As you can see, I didn't exactly put enough glue stick in my eyebrows. Make sure you do quite a bit of that. If you want to try doing the um, buttering method, I would uh, suggest it. Because it will be faster. I never personally have tried it, but it does seem to work a little bit better. Now that the white is done, 
we're going to go ahead and do the red markings. So go ahead and grab the bruise palette and you're going to take the darker red and then I'm going to go ahead and take my little detail brush here and yes I have Harry Potter <laughs> mega brushes. I, got, I gotta show my, my Hogwarts pride somehow. So what I would suggest starting with is the lips. Is you're gonna take it and literally just apply it to your lips at first. If y'all remember my Joker makeup tutorial, it's a very similar technique to that. Same thing with um, the lines on the sides, which is what we're going to do next. So you're going to take the brush, and it's good to have a picture if you aren't good with remembering exactly how it is. I would suggest smiling while you do it, so it gets a better um, look, I guess. The good thing about the white cream makeup is that if you make a mess or you do it wrong, you just cover it up. But something's missing, isn't it? You're right. Top lines. They go about halfway up the forehead. So I like to put where they need to go up there. And keep in mind they get skinnier as they get to the top. So I like to turn my brush sideways to do the top area. What you're going to want to do next is you're going to take also in the bruise palette or if you have another um, black cream type makeup you can use it but I like to use the black that's in there and I'm going to take this rounder brush I don't know technical brush names so please forgive me you're going to take the black and you're going to first go around the outside of your eye. Try to paint in your eyelashes too. Think like eyeliner. Guys, if you don't know anything about eyeliner, then get a girl to help you. Or someone that knows about eyeliner. It doesn't have to necessarily be a girl. Just someone who knows about eyeliner. Because basically what it's going to do is it's going to go around your eye, make your eyes stand out more, but also sink it in. And then one other thing that I'm going to do, but Pennywise has a bit of a um, frowny brow line. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, starting at the nose, sort of, and I'm going to draw a really thin, faint, frowny brow line. And now for the final touch of the makeup, you're gonna go ahead and grab, wash your hands first. You're gonna go ahead and grab your contacts. I should have put them in before I did the makeup. I sh knew I should have done that. I struggled with that last time. Why am I such an idiot? So anyhow, what have we learned here today? Don't be a dumb shit like me. But anyhow, if you want to make this a little bit more adult or gory or graphic, more Halloween-y, then you can go ahead and see what I'm about to do, or you can just get creative with it and just do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm simply going to take a little bit of fake blood here. Do not actually put this stuff in your mouth. It is not good for you to actually ingest. But I'm putting it in the corner of my mouth and trying to let it drip. Take some red. Cover the bottom little area of your nose in the same color that you did with the lines. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smack the like button down below. Punch that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And go ahead and hit the bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video, which are coming out every single Thursday. And again, thank you all so much for watching. Be safe this Halloween, and I'll see you guys in the next video.